hello everyone so today we will discuss about the screens numerical and from today onwards i will be teaching in english because some of my friends here doesn't understand the hindi but i will use a very simple language so that you will be able to understand everything so before going into the numerical let's uh, actually i have discussed about the screen and design in in this channel in the this, this first video of this channel is about screen design but i think it is in gujarati so let me just quickly recap what is screen how it is look like uh, so this is the screen this is how it look like let me just explain its component so these are these bars all this look at this bar there is some spacing between bars if you want to look at it like this is the spacing between bars this one okay and i will explain you what are the three parts of the screen chamber so this is behind screen this is this is the down this is downstream this upstream okay so let's just first look at the formulas then you i will i will explain you everything in detail so this is the head loss formula now what is head loss so for example this is here is the screen okay this is the screen chamber uh, water here the water depth will be higher and here water depth will be lower like this here and here will be slightly down so this some some loss in head occur or in simple word decrease in depth you can see here some depth is decrease in the downstream of the screen here 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 is a somewhat higher depth and here is somewhat lesser depth so this decrease in depth occurs this is the head loss so how we will calculate the head loss so this is the equation uh, v v flow through now what is v flow through let me just look mm. okay what is wave flow through so for example this is the screen chamber okay and this is the bars like this is one bar this is second bar okay just for the example as i have shown you the previous figure this these are just for example only two bars okay so what is flow through flow through is what velocity when water is flowing through this space between bars when water is flowing through this space between bar at that time water velocity is flow through velocity because it is flowing through and what is v approach v approach is what here is the screen okay here here water is approaching okay so this is at second section v2 is your v approach so there are four section or actually in this numericals we will have use only three sections so the three sections are here is the screen here from interceptor or from pipe water will come okay so this will be your first section this is upstream of screen is second and downstream of screen is third section okay so this screen entirely divide screen chamber entirely divide into the three parts or three sections i will i will show you the okay, it's not working okay so here i will i think there is figure yes this is the figure okay so this is the screen this second here is the approach v2 this is the approach velocity from this bars 
velocity of water is known as flow through velocity and this is the this is known as the, this is the interceptor it is nothing but the pipe from which water is coming and this is the downstream okay so this is okay uh, so this is v flow through v approach v approach is your nothing but v2 this is cd cd is the coefficient of drag i think <laughs> and uh, it is constant for clock screen it is 0 0.6 and for clean screen it is 0 0.7 so this is the equation and then this equation will be applicable where, where? here because from here to here water depth is decreasing or loss in head is occur okay but uh, when water is flowing like here like here loss in head occur here this depth is decreased so here some loss in head occur so at this point head loss equation will be slightly different between section 1 and 2 here head loss equation will be used due to expansion expansion is what earlier only this this was its width now it's slightly expand so this chamber slightly expands so this is due to expansion some head loss occur so that is what we have to calculate head loss for that there is a formula so here is the formula for that this formula head loss is equal to ke v1 square minus v2 square upon 2g now this v1 and v2 is what v1 is your velocity here let me just look at here velocity at here okay and v2 is velocity here just like uh, we seen in the flow through or a head loss due to screen approach velocity and flow through velocity similarly here v1 v2 this is the equation okay here is the equation this is head loss due to expansion v1 square minus v2 square upon 2g this is head loss due to contraction contraction in contraction we will use v2 square minus v1 square upon 2g because if this is the con contraction case so in this velocity v2 will be more compared to v1 because contraction occurred cross section area decrease so v2 will be more so that is why v2 square minus v1 square upon 2g this is nothing but the equation which we have to use and there is the another equation this is the Christmas equation so this beta is safe factor will be given in the question w w is your total width of all bars so if this is the screen chamber okay this one two three four four bars are given for example so four bars are given so width of one bar width of one bar into number of bars okay so that will be your w for example width of one bar is one and number of bar is four so width w will be four and b is total clear spacing now what is total clear spacing is for example three bar is there so this four are two four spacing and this spacing distance is for example 1 ok so 4 into 1 so that will be your total clear spacing so what formula will be n number of spacing into the spacing distance ok spacing distance will be delta x ok and one thing keep in mind that uh, okay i will uh, tell you when we solve the numerical this is the he velocity head of flow this is v2 square upon 2g v2 is your nothing but your v approach 
okay and theta is angle of bars with respect to horizontal so screen is like this so this for example is 60 degree so like that okay so these are the numerical you have to uh sorry equation you, you have to use so now let's just solve the first numerical a bar rack has a 30 parallel bars so n is equal to 30 equal space in chamber and clear spacing delta x delta x is your 25 and the width of the bars okay the width of one bar is 12 mm okay 12 one bar width and the depth in the channel of upstream of the rack okay depth is given it is your d2 because of upstream of the screen is what is your second section upstream so that is why d2 is 1.5 okay and calculate the width of the chamber okay the total width of the chamber chamber view you have to calculate and the ratio of in the ratio of clear area to total screen area not only screen total screen area okay so here let's just these are the data given number of uh, bars spacing between bars width of one bar depth here it will be d2 more appropriate to write d2 so overall width of the chamber we have to calculate so this is for example the screen chamber this is overall width this is what we have to calculate for in this it is 30 bar but for example in this only three bars okay so this is this is three bar or 30 bars the spacing here is 25 25 okay and the width of bar this bar width is how much thick 12 mm okay and uh, this is depth okay depth so w over will, will be what 25 or number of bars for example i will just explain you for this case 25 bar okay 25 uh, sorry 25 mm distance into how much spacing 1 2 3 4 okay 4 this much now for bars 12 mm is the thickness of bar 12 mm into how much bar how many bars 1 2 3 only 3 okay so if we say number of bars is equal to n so spacing will be n plus 1 because look at this number of spacing will always be one unit greater than the number of bars so number of bars is 3 spacing will be 4 okay please let me know if you have not understood this i am explaining in very like in you know, a detail and very basic way because some of my friends who does not have civil background so for that i am teaching in such a basic way so okay so w overall number of bars w overall be what this all we have to add up this one bar thickness and number of bars and all spacing distance we everything we have to add up so the overall spacing will be this is for bars number of bars into width of bars this number of spacing into spacing distance okay so 30 into what will be the 12 okay and n plus 1 is 31 into delta x is your 25 so this is in mm so this much mm is total or overall width and this is in meter now the ratio they ask us to calculate clear area upon total area so clear area will be what this is the clear area 
so area means what here here area will be what is your width into your depth okay so depth you know 1.5 meter is given in question width width is your clear spacing total width you have to consider here because you ask us because the question ask us you ask you to calculate the ratio of clear area upon total area so clear area is what number of spacing into distance between spacing number of spacing into distance of spacing okay so number of spacing is how much 31 into distance is how much uh, 25 into depth is 1.5 this is you have to convert into the meter okay so you will get like this in total area okay so, yeah. total area total area will be what total area is your w overall this overall into the 1.5 meter depth so this is your total overall area okay so this is your ratio okay i ho hope you understood i hope you understood now in the look in, uh, let us let me look at the next numerical actually i have to call so okay i will call later so in this question what is uh what they ask us to calculate is that uh, mechanically so headless headless we have to calculate this is a very just straightforward we just have to put the data in the equation a mechanically clean bar screen is installed ahead of a velocity grid there are 28 parallel sharp edge rectangular bar and 10 mm so n n is equal to 10 28 width of bar or uh, w whatever you want to call, say right width is given 10 mm clear spacing delta x is given the flow through velocity is given and the depth of flow upstream is given d2 this is what is flow through we flow through okay and the angle of inclination of the bar okay theta is given and the what uh, they ask us to calculate is head loss okay head loss cd is given for clean and head loss for clock screen also we have to calculate okay. so let's just look at the solution i will provide this both both of this pdf uh, in the description you description you can uh, access to through the through the link okay so what is given here number of bars width of bars the uh, spacing between bars flow is given depth or this is more appropriate to write d2 d2 is given theta is given and then cd for clean and clog is given so we have to calculate the head loss so let's just first write the equation of head loss so this is the equation of head loss okay so v flow through is given okay this is given this is 2g we know cd is given but this this one v approach v approach this one is not given so first we have to calculate the v approach how are we going to calculate the uh, v approach so all you know q is equal to av so v here q by a but uh, what will be the area flow will be the same but what will be the area flow through as you can as i have explained earlier also it is flowing through from this spacing only this spacing only so area will be what your clear area not total area clear area you have to consider clear area will be what as i have explained in the previous example clear area will be your spacing total number of spacing into the spacing distance the so total number of spacing into the spacing distance here 28 bars so 29 will be the spacing into the spacing distance what is what is given spacing distance is 20 mm yeah 20 mm okay so this is okay this is yeah 29 will be the 
number of spacing in 20 mm make sure you have converted into the meter so this is the final answer 0 0.892 meter per second this is what this is your this is your flow through i think flow through was not given the equation okay flow through was not given okay so this is what we have calculated the flow through velocity uh, I, I mistakenly said here that flow through is given actually flow through is not given and v approach is also not given i think yes v approach is also not given so we we have to calculate this both value so we, we found out the flow through value okay we found out the flow through value now we will find out the approach velocity so how are we going to find out the approach velocity approach velocity is what as i explained this is the approach velocity here area will be what this is total total width into total depth okay because like a flow through there are some bars which are obstructing the flow but here total width will be considered okay because i hope you understood like so flow flow is given area is what depth into width so depth is given w overall w over will overall will be what width due to bars and width due to spacing bars are 28 and the, the diameter or width of the bar is how much 10 mm i have a here and make sure you have converted into the meter so i have just here i have converted into the meter by multiplying 10 to minus 3 okay so this is due to bars this is due to spacing so this is the overall width this is depth so this is the v approach this is how we calculate the v approach okay so okay now we know all of the values v approach oh sorry we flow through v approach this is 2g and this cd so for a clean screen this is the head loss and now similarly we will find out for the clock screen now keep in mind that don't don't commit mistake like this you just uh, kept everything same this all same and you just change the cd value and you got the this headless this is wrong actually this is what i have done this mistakenly mistakenly i have done this mistake this is wrong okay so because why it is wrong because okay this is changing but the flow through will also change because 50 percent screen is clogged so the area area will be what it will area also will decrease 50 percent so only 50 percent area is vacant for passing the for passing the liquid okay so this is this is the screen okay for example just for example this much is clog okay this much so only this much is remaining so v is equal to q by a if area decreased by 2 if uh, 50 percent so a by 2 so 2 will be upside so 2 into q by a q by a is what this is your v so in short area if area decreased by 50 percent then velocity will be double or flow through velocity will get double because half or 50 percent clean area is decreased I, I hope you understood this okay so new v flow through or v dash flow through will be two times v flow through okay so you just change this data this v approach will be same this cd will change and v approach will change uh, v flow through will change these two value okay and then you will get the head loss for clock screen now from this uh, case much formula you are also can calculate the head loss this beta will be given to you although in question it is not mentioned but in the exam it will be given to you so this is beta okay this w and b i think i have explained in yeah i uh, yes yes i have explained this formula what is w w is your width of all bars 
and this b is what is your spacing distance or total spacing distance okay so where the uh, total like how many bars 20 bar i think i don't remember the data like you can calculate w and b let me just um, what is the number of bars 20 28 yes 28 bars and the uh, width of bar 28 so 280 is total thick, thickness or width of bar or uh, and uh, the distance spacing distance is 20 20 into number of uh, spacing will be 29 so it is coming 580 so this is what is written here okay so yeah this is what is this is what is written here okay and uh, this is what v square upon 2g we approach you know this 2g and it theta is 80 so sine 80 so you will get this okay so okay this is finished the headless is finished now we will look at the example number 7.3 Okay, I will share this PDF. You can look at the detailed uh, solution here also. Okay, I think answer yes answer is matching at loss zero point twenty four. Yes, yes, it is matching. Okay, yeah seven point three. So in this uh, interceptor, what is interceptor? Is nothing but this interceptor is your pipe. I will not tell you the detailed concept, you just keep in mind that there is this pipe from which water is coming, waste water is coming. Okay, so discharge into a bar screen, okay, the velocity and depth of flow in the interceptor are, okay, 1 meter per second and 1.2 meters per second. Okay, this is given, respectively, uh, the width of the screen chamber is 1.5 meter, okay. 1.5 meter W overall is your 1.5 meter okay what is next given is a coefficient due to expansion okay this is 0 0.5 and the floor of the screen chamber is horizontal and the invert is 0 0.06 now what is this telling okay I will explain what is this telling it is 0 0.06 meter like uh, like datum is going 0 0.03 meter downside okay what is given next so okay let me just uh, give the what is z1 and what is z2 z2 z1 is the elevation here and z2 is elevation here okay so If you take uh, Z2 as 0, Z1 will be what? So if you take Z2 as 0, then Z1 will be 0 0.06. Okay. Okay, I am not like, let me just uh, explicitly just mention like what it is like, what is it is conveying in this question? Like here is the 0 0.06, okay. So 0 0.06 is going downward. So Z1, Z2. If you take Z2 0, then Z1 will be 0 0.06. If you not take Z2 as 0, if you taking something Z1 as the like Z1 as 0, then Z2 will be minus 0 0.06, okay. So next is uh, below the invert interceptor. Calculate the velocity and depth of flow in screen chamber upstream of the bar. Okay, the we have to calculate the V two and D two. The inflow. Okay, flow is given. Okay, now let's look at the solution. Oh, solution started. This is what the data is given, V1 given, T1 given, W overall is given, K 
के सी एक्सपांशन कॉन्स्टेंट इज गिवन जेड वन दिस इज वॉट आई वॉज एक्सप्लेनिंग जेड वन जेड टू जेड टू इज जीरो जेड वन इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स वी टू इज वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट एंड डी टू इज ऑल्सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट सो हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट वी विल जस्ट अप्लाई द बर्नोल इक्वेशन एट टू एट और बिटवीन सेक्शन वन एंड सेक्शन टू एट दिस सेक्शन here here we will apply the bernoulli okay so bernoulli equation you all know i think so this is z1 plus d1 plus v1 square upon 2g is equal to z2 plus d2 plus v2 square upon 2g also don't forget to add head loss here because due to the construct uh, sorry due to the expansion head loss is occurring Okay. Okay. So k k value is given. K value is given. So let's just post all of the value. Z one is given. Zero point zero six. D one is given. V one is given. Or L two is given. Z two is zero. D two we have to find out. V two it's not given. Two G. This is the k v one square minus v two square upon two G. Okay. So what we will do? We will Calculate everything. Like we will find out d two, and we will transform this v two in terms of d two, because v is equal to q by a. A is nothing but weight into depth. So from this we can. So what I have done here is okay. This is what I have calculated and put it here. This is zero. D two we have I have put here, and here v two square upon g. Now just, just. Look at this here. So this is k one. If if we just uh, multiply this term with uh, we take this term in inside, what will be the value? K e v one square upon two g minus k e v two square upon two g. Okay, minus k e v two square upon two g. So this is what I have written. K e v one square upon two g and minus k e V two square upon two g. So now, from this term, from this term, and from this term, I have got common out the V two square upon two g. So here remain one, and here remain this all will be gone. So only k. So one minus k. Sorry, I have just uh, like directly put directly taken common out. So I hope you will understand this. And okay, uh, V one we know K e is given. V two V two we will convert it into the D two D two like the in terms of D like V is equal to Q by A Q and area is depth into width. This is this is what is done here. Q square upon D square into W square. D is nothing but your D two two G and W is given. So everything is given. You just put everything. Q is given, and W overall is also given. This is only unknown term. This is okay. So you will get like this equation. And after that, you will get the cubic equation. Okay, and from that you solve the cubic equation. You you will get this. Like, if you are not able to find out the cubic equation. I will tell you the some tricks. I think it it like during B Tech it was working with all examples. I think it will work for all numericals. In calculator you can calculate, but with basic calculator it will be not able. You will be not able to calculate. So for that I will give you the trick. If you are if you are not able to find out, then please let me know. Okay. Uh, so d two d two you find out then from d two how will you calculate v two? As simple v is equal to q by a as I have like here here okay so this way you calculate the v two so d two and v two you have found out the example is finished now the last example. 
mm, okay so in this example what do you have to find out the depth of flow d3 and velocity v3 in the screen chamber of the bar bag bar bag i think it is d3 and v3 let's just uh, look like let's just read the question a uh, rectangular channel contain the a uh, bar rag the width of the chamber downstream okay downstream width or width will be the same throughout the chamber it doesn't matter downstream or upstream 1.25 and the flow flow is given 1 meter cube per second and the water depth in the chamber upstream okay so d2 is given the velocity through the clear rack opening is uh, okay clear rack opening so your velocity through so it's your v flow through is given cd is given for a clean screen okay and now what we have to calculate approach velocity so we have to calculate v2 depth and velocity downstream okay so d3 v3 d3 v3 v2 this three we have to calculate rest nothing we have to calculate we just have to calculate this three value okay so let's just look at it how i have calculated so this 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 all thing is given w overall flow d2 flow through velocity cd this is given so this three thing i have to find we have to find out so how will you find out first uh, v approach v approach is what is your v2 okay v2 how will you find out v2 is equal to q by a q by a a is what your w into what into your d2 w into d2 d2 this is d2 w w is here q q is here so you found out the v2 or v approach this is what i have done here okay this is what i have done this is like you find out the v approach and now let's just calculate first head loss because through head loss it's easier to calculate the downstream depth and velocity there is a uh, longer way also just like in uh, just like we did in previous numerical just apply the Bernoulli for this second section between this second section and this between this third section apply the Bernoulli put the all of the data and do calculation this is the one way but what is the quickest way or the shortest way and it is uh, actually practical it is not uh, inaccurate at all it is actually practical so let's just first calculate the head loss head loss is your v flow through yes it is given v approach we have calculated 2g cd is given so this is head loss now what will be the d3 if you carefully look at the let me just show you the actual pic picture so if you just cal carefully look at this is your d2 and this is your d3 okay so this much is your head loss okay so if you just from d2 you just minus the head loss that will be what that will be your d3 so it's very straightforward you don't you don't need to apply the Bernoulli's equation you just minus the head loss from depth d2 so you will get the 1.36 and if you just apply the Bernoulli equation you calculate you will then only you will then also you will get 1.36 so d, d3 you got so from d3 it's easier to calculate q by velocity okay so i think this is the i think yeah that is that is all about so if you still not understand anything so please do not hesitate ask in the comment section i will try to reply all of your queries